Lesson 10.8, we're going to estimate and measure mass, and we're going to use grams and kilograms, which are metric units. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Look at the bowling ball and the basketball. They're both about the same size, and the bowling ball has more mass than a basketball. The bowling ball is filled inside, and the basketball has air inside. So even though they're about the same size, the bowling ball has more mass. The gram is the basic metric unit for measuring mass, or the amount of matter in an object. 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. It's also equal to 10 hectograms, and it's equal to 100 decagrams. I have a metric mass chart here. Let's take a closer look. Here we have one kilogram. And if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hectograms, that would be equal to one kilogram. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 decagrams. That would be the same thing as one kilogram. And we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 grams would be the same thing as one kilogram. And you notice that all the words have the word gram in them. See that? It's kilogram, hectogram, decagram. They all say gram. So the gram is the basic metric unit for measuring mass or the amount of matter in an object. We can compare metric measures for mass to U.S. standard measures. One kilogram is approximately two and a half pounds. 450 grams is approximately one pound. And 30 grams is approximately one ounce. Remember, approximately means near correct. So those aren't exact. That's just about how much they are compared to U.S. standard measures. An object with the mass of one kilogram has more matter than an object with the mass of one gram. A box of 1,000 paper clips has the mass of approximately one kilogram. And one tiny little paper clip has the mass of about one gram. So there's a thousand of those paper clips in this box, so there's more mass. A pan balance or balance scale has a plate or bowl on each side in the same distance from the center. So each of these plates or bowls are the same distance from the center, which is called the fulcrum. And we can use a pan balance to measure mass. The object with more mass will make the pan go lower than the other side. We can place an object on the platform of a spring scale, and the object's mass will make the platform go lower. So we can put something on this platform, and it'll, there's a spring here inside, and it'll make this platform go lower as we set something on top of it. And the dial on the face of the spring scale will go around clockwise. We can decide if an object should be measured in grams or kilograms. We now know that a paper clip is about one gram, and a box of 1,000 paper clips is about one kilogram. Do you think this little movie ticket has the mass that is close to a paper clip or a thousand paper clips? If you said grams, you're right. The mass of the movie ticket isn't very much. What about a fishbowl? Do you think a fishbowl would have the mass that should be measured in grams or kilograms? Do you think its mass is like a paper clip or a box of a thousand paper clips or more? If you said kilograms, you're right. The fishbowl has more mass so it would be smarter to measure it in kilograms. We need to match the object to the unit we would use to measure its mass. 
Would we use grams or kilograms to measure the mass of a loaf of bread? And keep in mind, one paper clip is a gram. If you said kilograms, you're right. What about a peanut in a shell? Do you think we should measure its mass with grams or kilograms? If you said grams, you're right. One little peanut in a shell doesn't have much mass. What about a bunch of bananas? Here we have several bananas. I can count one, two, three, at least four, maybe five if one's hiding behind there. So we have a bunch of bananas. Would we measure its mass in grams or kilograms? If you said kilograms, you're right. The bunch of bananas has a lot more mass than a paperclip. What about a cherry? Do you think we would measure its mass in grams or kilograms? So remember the letter G is the abbreviation for gram and KG is the abbreviation for kilogram. So would a cherry's mass be measured in grams or kilograms if you were to compare it to a paper clip? If you said grams, you're right. What about a squirrel? Would we measure the mass of a squirrel in grams or kilograms? Remember, we can compare it to the paper clip that is one gram. If you said kilograms, you're right. What about the leaf from a maple tree? Would we measure its mass in grams or kilograms? Do you think a leaf has a lot of mass? Hmm, not really. So we could probably measure this in grams, couldn't we? So you can think of that paper clip being one gram to help you decide if something should have its mass measured in grams or kilograms. We can compare the masses of objects by looking at each side of the pan balance. And the side of the balance that is lower has greater mass. So the cat has greater mass than the apple. When two objects have the same mass, the pans would be even, and this would be going straight across. If you have a pan balance, you can compare the masses of objects. If you don't have a pan balance, you can make one using a clothes hanger, four pieces of string, and two paper cups. You could even use some paper bowls. You take the clothes hanger and in these parts right here that are meant to hold straps of a garment, you can put the string and you put a hole to tie the string to the cup or the bowl and you have to make sure they're even. So you can take a regular clothes hanger like this and make it so the string goes through this part and then you hold it right in the center here and it will tilt if one side has more mass than the other it will go down for the one that has the greater mass, that side, okay? Mass is different than weight. The mass of an object is not affected by gravity. So the mass of an object is the same on every planet. Weight is affected by gravity, so it will change from planet to planet because each planet's force of gravity is different. A student that weighs about 36 kilograms, that's about 80 pounds on Earth, would weigh about 6 kilograms, which is about 13 pounds, on the moon. Their mass didn't change, but their weight did because the gravity was different. Mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. Weight is the measure of the amount of force on a mass because of gravity. This is learned in physics. So mass is not size or weight. Here we have a balloon that looks pretty big and we have a can of dog food that's much smaller than the balloon but this can of dog food has more mass than that balloon. That balloon's filled with air. So it's not the size and it's not the weight. It's the amount of matter that's in the object this is filled with dog food. This is filled with air. 
Here we have a big bag of dry dog food, and we have a bed pillow that's about the same size as the bag of dog food. But this has more mass because it's filled with dog food, and the bed pillow, if we squish it, we can squeeze out all the air, couldn't we? And sometimes something with more mass will be larger than something with less mass, like an elephant and a mouse, but sometimes it won't. So mass is not size or weight, it's the amount of matter in the object. In our final lesson for this chapter, lesson 10.9, we're going to talk about solving problems for liquid volume and mass. And I hope I'll see you there and keep up the good work and I'll see you next time. Bye.